welcome to Addicted to Watches. Today, we are going to be looking at a watch that takes more than just a little inspiration from the iconic design language of Gerald Genta. This is the 94 Watches successor. Gerald Genta was a Swiss watch designer who is responsible for many iconic watch designs that all follow a similar principle. He worked with numerous luxury Swiss watch brands, including IWC, Patek Philippe, and Audemars Piguet, designing the Patek Philippe Nautilus, as well as the AP Royal Oak. Looking at these watches, many similarities can be drawn between the flat bezel and integrated bracelet. While both designs were created in the 1970s, the fact that they are still made today and often mimicked by other brands attests to the timeless quality of the designs. In recent times especially, the market for this style watch has grown significantly, with many brands, both micro and mainstream, releasing models featuring elements of Genta's designs. These range from high-end brands like Zenith and Maurice Lacroix, to more affordable brands such as Tissot and this watch here by microbrand 94 Watches. This watch comes in a variety of dial colours and case colours. As you can see, the watch I have here features a white dial and stainless steel case. The classic and most popular option is definitely stainless steel with the blue dial, but there is also a black dial version available. In addition to these, the blue and black dials are also available in a rose gold coloured stainless steel case for a flashier option. All dials are textured with vertical plank designs. The 94 Watches successor can only be purchased directly from the brand website, and the official price is $299 US for all colour options. However, some models are discounted. One thing the brand is doing, which is surprising, is offering watches that did not pass quality control at a further discount. While the white and blue dial options are currently available with defective loom for $190 US. If you are not bothered by the unevenly applied loom, this could be an easy way to save more than a third of the cost of the watch. Based on the specifications and features this watch offers, even at the full $299 price, this watch isn't overpriced and represents good value for someone looking for a Genta-esque design on a budget. Getting into the details of this watch, it features a 40mm case size with a thickness of just 10.5mm. For an automatic watch, this is quite slim especially considering many other watches featuring the same NH35 movement are 13, 14 and even 15 mm thick. A flat sapphire crystal with anti-reflective undercoating protects the dial. While on paper, the lug to lug of this watch is 46 mm, due to the nature of this integrated bracelet, in reality it is much larger, sitting closer to 54 mm when on wrist. The low height of this watch helps it to wear very flat, though it feels larger than the 40mm case size. The bracelet measures 25mm where it meets the case, but tapers significantly to 18mm at the butterfly clasp. The integrated style means that you won't be swapping the bracelet for a different strap very easily. A screw-on case back featuring the brand logo as well as various details of the watch provides 100m of water resistance, which is adequate for everyday life and can even be taken swimming in a pool. The signed crown is one of the few polished areas on this watch, and would have been helped by being slightly larger than it is. Whilst by no means unusable, something a little bigger would have been more practical when setting the time. As mentioned, the dial on this watch features a plank design and a strong blue and white motif. All of the hands, hour markers, printing, and the applied logo are done in blue, which helps this watch to stand out a little from many other white dial watches. The blue colour of the surrounds of the applied indices, as well as the applied logo, are a slightly darker blue than the hands and printing. Around the dial is a raised minute ring with numbers printed every five minutes. A nice touch on the dial is the applied logo being hollow. It is not just a single piece of metal on the dial, and the plank pattern can be seen through the middle of the shield. While the hands on this watch are blue, they are not blued. Blued hands are created by heating up the metal until it changes colour, and are often featured on much more expensive watches 
in the form of hands, screws, and other components of the movement. The hands on this watch are most likely painted, but look nice and are well proportioned on the dial. Taking a look at the finishing of this watch, we can see that almost the entirety of the watch is in a brushed finish, with vertical brushing along the top surface of the bezel, case and bracelet. Horizontal brushing is used on the sides of the case and bezel. As mentioned, the crown and parts of the case back are polished, as is a slim ring around the bottom of the bezel which provides a nice detail. Being a very angular case shape, all of the transitions are crisp while not retaining any sharp edges to catch on your finger or sleeve. Moving on to the bracelet, it too is completely brushed with no polished surfaces. It uses H-shaped links and is fully articulated, meaning that the rectangular middle part of the link is a separate piece and can be bent, making it a very comfortable wearing experience. However, a lack of half-size links or any form of micro-adjustment on the clasp means that a perfect fit is not guaranteed. Unfortunately, the watch that I have here also arrived with a small area of damage around the pinhole where the bracelet meets the case. Now that we've looked at the watch in detail, let's get it on wrist to see how it wears. As mentioned, the integrated style of the bracelet and increased lug-to-lug -lug distance means this watch feels larger than regular 40mm watches when on wrist. However, the flat profile and comfortable bracelet help to balance that out. I just mentioned one quality control issue that I experienced with this watch, but there is another, and that has to do with the loom. Obviously, this is not a dive watch, so the loom is not expected to be outstanding, and it's not. On their website, they are selling, as mentioned at a discount, watches with defective loom. They must have had more than a few of these issues with their production, as the watch that I have here also has unevenly applied loom. However, when I purchased this watch, it was not discounted heavily or labelled as defective. When the loom is charged, you can see that the hands are slightly brighter than the dial, which is fairly common. However, the 12, 3, 6 and 9 markers have uneven loom to the point where you can actually see the two pins that were used to attach the marker to the dial through the loom. Whether it is a case of not enough loom or something else, it is disappointing to see when the watch was not sold as defective. Hopefully the brand can sort out any production issues for future releases, but it is a problem when you're getting so many defective products that you're creating a specific listing to sell them off at a discount. For many, those two issues will be deal breakers, and I was a little disappointed when I first received the watch. Also, being my first watch of this style with an integrated bracelet, I was not prepared for how big it as a 40mm watch would wear. However, if you have an above average sized wrist, then this watch will wear very well, and if you are able to get one without the QC issues that I experienced, for the price, this is a well made, solid feeling watch that takes inspiration from classic Genta designs without being a straight copy and paste. What do you think about this watch? Would you risk possible quality control issues when buying a watch like this? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time.